Welcome to our YouTube channel NECN TV. I am N Radha Krishna Murthy, Associate Professor, Narayana Engineering College, Melur. Today I am going to explain you how to prepare effectively mid one examination. Mid one examination syllabus contains first two units. The first unit is wave optics. In the wave optics, the basic principle is principle of superposition. What is principle of superposition? When two or more waves traveling in a medium in the same direction superimpose together, the resultant displacement at any point in the medium is equal to algebraic sum of the displacements due to individual waves. That is, y is equal to y1 plus y2. Y1 comma Y2 are displacements of individual waves and Y is displacement of resultant wave. This, uh, this question is important for two marks. Next is interference. What is interference? The phenomenon of modification in the distribution of intensity in the region of superposition of waves is known as interference. This question is important for two marks. Next is constructive and destructive interferences. They are also important for two marks. Next important question is interference of reflector light from a thin film. This question is important for 10 marks. So here we have a uniform thin film, uniform thin transparent film. When light falls on top surface of the film, some light is undergoes partial reflection along this direction and partial refraction along this direction. And this refracted ray again undergoes partial reflection along this direction and emerges from the film along the direction DF. Here we have two reflected rays. Now we have to derive expression for path difference of those two reflected rays. If that path difference is 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2. So if that path difference is equal to n lambda, what happens? Constructive interference takes place between reflected rays and we get maximum reflection from the thin film. If that path difference is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2, destructive interference takes place and we get feeble reflections from the thin film. Uh, next important question is Newton rings. So in previous case we dealt, in previous case we dealt a film having uniform thickness. Now we are dealing a film having non-uniform thickness. So for this what we are going to do is we are placing a plano convex lens of large radius of curvature on a plain glass plate in such a way that the convex surface is towards a glass plate. Due to this an air film of non-uniform thickness is formed between lens and glass plate. But the thickness of the film is constant along a circle. So when light falls normally on the thin film, what happens is some light is reflected from top surface of the film and some light is reflected from bottom surface of the film. These reflected rays superimpose together and produce interference pattern. That pattern consists of a number of concentric bright and dark rings with a dark spot at the center. Now we have to derive conditions for constructive interference and destructive interference. From those conditions we have to derive expressions for diameters of bright and dark rings. So this question is important for 10 marks. Next important question is diffraction. What is diffraction? The bending of light ray at narrow obstacles whose size is comparable to wavelength of light is known as diffraction. So this is important for two marks. Next important question is front of a diffraction at a single slit. So here we are deriving expression for a resultant intensity of diffracted waves. So from that expression we are obtaining the conditions for central maxima, minima and secondary maxima 
and from that data we are drawing a diffraction pattern so this question also important for 10 marks so next question is fan of a diffraction at a double slit so this is also important for 10 marks so next question is fan of a diffraction at a grating so what is grating grating consists of multiple slits how it is constructed so this consists of a number of parallel slits having equal width e and separated by equal opaque spaces this is constructed by ruling a large number of parallel lines on a thin transparent material like a glass using a fine diamond point here also we are obtaining expression for intensity of diffracted waves resultant intensity of diffracted waves and this is also important for 10 marks so okay next important topic is polarization till now we have studied about uh, interference and diffraction these phenomena reveal that light has given nature but these phenomena do not tell whether light waves are transverse waves or longitudinal waves but the phenomena of polarization established the fact that light waves are transverse waves that is the importance of polarization so what is meant by light wave light wave is it is nothing but electromagnetic wave it travels in the form of varying electric and magnetic fields these fields are vibrating perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of propagation we are taking direction of vibration of electric field as direction of polarization next what is meant by unpolarized light in the unpolarized light we have electrical vibrations in all directions that light is called as unpolarized light next is what is plain polarized light suppose if the electrical vibrations in a light are confined to one plane it is called as plain polarized light if these electric vibrations are confined to vertical plane it is called as vertically polarized light if the electrical vibrations are confined to horizontal plane it is called as horizontally polarized light so these two are important for two marks so next another topic is what is meant by circular and electrically polarized light suppose in the light if the electric vector describes a circle during one time period it is called as circularly polarized light if the electric vector in the light describes an ellipse during one time period it is called as elliptically polarized light this is also important for two marks next to brewster's law what is brewster's law brewster's law gives relationship between refractive index of the medium and angle of polarization that is mu is equal to tan theta p so next to topic is double refraction what is meant by double refraction when unpolarized light enter into some crystals like calcite or quartz it is split up into two plane polarized lights one is called as ordinary light and another one is called as extraordinary light so both have vibrations perpendicular to each other ordinary light has same velocity in all directions extraordinary ray has different velocities in different directions this phenomenon is known as double refraction and this is important for two marks next you have to study construction and working of nicol prism next you have to write what is meant by half wave plate and what is meant by quarter wave plate they are also important for two marks next come to second unit what is second unit crystal structures and x ray diffraction okay actually solids are two types amorphous solids and crystalline solids what is meant by amorphous solids amorphous solids do not have regular periodic arrangement of atoms but 
they had the arrangement of atoms but their properties vary with direction that's why they are called as anisotropic substances so in this in this chapter we are studying more about to crystalline solids so in the crystalline solids the basic point is space lattice what is meant by space lattice so in the crystal we have so many atoms if we represent position of each atom in three dimensional space by a dots we get an infinite array of points that is called as space lattice in the space lattice each point has identical environment so what is space lattice it is infinite array of points in three dimensional space in which each point has identical environment next to you have to study about basis unit cell and the lattice parameters each question is important for two mark two marks all are includes equal to eight marks next is crystal systems and bravais lattices this question also important for 10 marks actually there are seven crystal systems cubic crystal system tetragonal system next to orthorhombic crystal system monoclinic crystal system uh, triclinic crystal system rhombohedral crystal system and hexagonal crystal system like that we have seven crystal systems tarvata what is bravais lattices bravais found that there are 14 different types of space lattices they are called as bravais lattices basically there are four space lattices one is primitive space lattice represented by the symbol p body center space lattice represented by the symbol i face center space lattice represented by the symbol f and the Uh, base center space lattice and represented by the symbol c like that we have four basic space lattices these four space lattices in seven crystal systems appear as 14 space lattices they are called as bravais lattices okay next to this question also important for 10 marks next to you have to study about cubic crystal structures cubic crystal structures means simple cubic structures body center cubic structures and face center cubic structures so in each structure you have to write atomic what is meant by atomic radius next to number of atoms per unit cell coordination number and packing fraction and finally you have to show that fcc has highest packing fraction than simple cubic and body center cubic structures okay so next question is miller indices and expression for interplanar distance in the crystal we have different sets of parallel planes having different orientations how to represent these sets of parallel planes for this miller has devised method to represent these sets of parallel planes by a set of three, three small integers known as miller indices so you have to write the procedure to represent miller indices of a set of parallel planes next to you have to derive expression for interplanar distance that expression is b is equal to a by root of h square plus k square plus l square this question also very very important for 10 marks next is bragg's law what is bragg's law bragg's law is 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda you have to derive that expression and this is important for 6 marks next to x ray powder diffraction method so this question is important for 10 marks so here you have to describe experimental arrangement for x ray powder diffraction method and you have to explain how to determine structure of a given powder sample next question is lave method so by using this method also we can determine structure of the crystals and this also important for 10 marks ha uh, with this i am concluding my class and uh, thank you to all please subscribe our youtube channel NECN TV thank you to all